Hey Geek, so if you're the type of person who does a lot of video editing, photo editing, or gaming, more than likely storage is really important to you. And for most people, the best way to get the most storage possible at the lowest cost is probably going to be through a mechanical drive or traditional SSDs versus getting an M.2 NVMe SSD, which can cost a lot more and give you way less storage. But with those other options, you will need a way to connect to your computer and that's typically going to be through your SATA ports. But at some point, you will hit a limit, which is exactly what happened to me. My motherboard only has four SATA ports and I've already filled those up. So how do you expand that? Well, the easiest way is probably going to be through something like this. This is a SATA expansion card. It goes into your PCI Express slot and this one gives me 10 more SATA ports. However, I did run into an issue with this one. It doesn't work in Windows 10 and 11, or at least I couldn't get it to work even though other people have got it to work. And so instead, I got this one today. This is a four port SATA expansion. And this one is a little bit older, I would say. This actually has two eSATA ports, which is really not even valid anymore. And instead, I really only have two available SATA ports. Now they do have other cards that gives you more ports, but I wanted to see whether or not this works in Windows before I actually got one with more ports. So let's go ahead and open this up and see if it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. And I'm really hoping that this works. Uh, I really don't understand why it didn't work for the other model that I got. But There it is. Here's the card. We do have a drivers on the CD, which is not common anymore, so you definitely tell that's older. So there's the two eSATA ports, which are basically not really used for anymore. And here are the two SATA ports. And thankfully, they do give you cables as well. And there's the CD, there's warranty information. And then I compare it to the other card that I got. This other card's way larger. But the main thing that I want to see is whether or not this works and hopefully it does. So one thing I want to show you here is that there's actually jumper settings here. And this is primarily to control which of the ports are active. So these two here are eSATA ports. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, this is really not valid anymore. This is a standard that never took off. And so thankfully by default, these jumper settings are meant to have these active. These are your SATA ports. And if I look here in the instruction, this was meant for Windows XP and Server 2003. So definitely an older card as I guess. And hopefully I won't have any issues with this and it's plug and play. But if not, they do have the CD with drivers, which might be difficult if you don't have an optical drive or you could download drivers from their website. But I'm hoping I have no issues with this. So here are my current SATA slots. There's two here and then there's two on the right of my motherboard as well and they are all filled up. And installing this card is fairly simple. You simply plug it into one of your PCI card slots, in this case my PCI Express slot, and I have the cable already connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so I have my card connected. Took less than a minute. And here's my cable that's going to connect to my storage, which is going to be an SSD. So here is my current storage setup. I have two SSDs, an SK Hynix and a Crucial. Plus, I also have two mechanical drives for even more storage. And this is the one that I am connecting to the SATA expansion card. And it does have a red cable, so it's easy for me to tell which one that it goes to. So let's go ahead and power up the machine. Okay, so I'm now booting up Windows. And before, it didn't get past the blue screen <laughs> of death. Oh wow, Windows came up, so great. Before, with the other card, it didn't even come up. So I'm gonna put in my password. Awesome. So the card worked right out of the box. I don't know what that was. It probably saw a new drive. Okay, those are Windows updates. Let me see if I could see my drive. I probably have to do some additional work, but oh yeah, that's awesome. So great. Everything looks like it's here. So the card works, <laughs> thankfully. Now I also run Linux as well. 
So let's see if the card works here. It should because yeah, I could see my drive here. So awesome. So thankfully, this works. Not only does it work in Windows, but it also works in Linux Mint. And as a matter of fact, this also worked in Linux Mint, but I couldn't get it to work in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So I could definitely recommend this brand. And since this one works, then more than likely, I'm gonna upgrade to the one with more ports later down the line. And if you did wanna support this channel and get this, I will leave a fit links for this version, but also the version above it as well. So if you did have any thoughts on this card expansion or any other SATA port expansion methods that you use, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see more of my geek gear reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave in the description area below or up here. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.